Hi there, it's Derek Fredrickson from ClimateTraction.com where we teach you exactly how to get more clients, make more money, and multiply your business. And one of the marketing strategies that Fabian and I teach many of our clients and students is the concept of using a product launch to help sell more of their products and services. More specifically, we teach them exactly how to use the technology and the tools that are available today to achieve maximum sales when it comes time to get their product out to the masses for sale. And just to clarify, when I say uh, product here, I'm using it more generally, uh, whether it be a program, a, a service, or an event, whatever it may be, anything that you want to uh, that you want to sell to your network, that's what I'm referring to here when I just talk about product. Now, if you're not familiar with a product launch, it's an essential sales strategy for getting your product out to the masses and getting it out there for massive sales. Why? Well, just imagine this scenario, uh, and I've heard it many times before. You've spent all this time and effort to create this amazing product, right, with all of this incredible value and, and benefits that you know that your prospects need and, and want, including all these extra bonuses and, and, and goodies, and you post it to your website under the, under the shopping cart section of your website, and you sit there patiently and you expect the orders to flood in. And guess what? They don't, do they? <laughs> uh, most likely, instead, you hear crickets. You hear nothing, no orders. <laughs> Uh, so you decide to go to plan B and you decide to email your list about this brand new product and in your email you just say, go buy my new product. It's all great and here's what it'll do for you and more. What do you get? Maybe one sale, a couple of sales? Chances are you're going to hear more crickets. And, and, and that's because uh, you don't have a launch. You need to use the product launch concept to generate sales of your product and it's an essential vehicle like I said, to get the word out about your offer and, and get all of these people engaged with it. So the product launch is amazing because it creates all this excitement and buzz in the marketplace where, where people are, are overly enthusiastic and interested in what you have to offer. In addition, when done correctly using the teleseminar, right, you can create heightened motivation to the point where many, many prospects are again excited and will jump at the chance to purchase your product. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, doesn't that sound better than crickets? <laughs> so today I'd like to share with you uh, three very simple strategies on how to use teleseminars, all right, training calls over the phone to launch your product for maximum sales, all right? So here we go. Strategy number one, segment your audience. I see it too many times and, and too many mistakes are made. People try to sell their product to their entire email list, right? You can't do that. You have to email and invite your list to a teleseminar first. But understand this, right? Your whole list won't register for the teleseminar. I'm sorry to say they won't. Don't feel confused and, and deflated as a result. It's okay, it's actually a good thing and here's why. Just know that not everyone on your email list will be interested in that particular offering of your product or of your teleseminar, which is why you host the teleseminar in the first place. You invite your whole email list, but know that only those who register for the teleseminar are only the ones that are interested in that particular topic. Not everyone, like I said, not everyone will participate and it's okay, but those who do, are very, very interested. And as a result, when it comes time to launching your product to that segment of your list, you're more likely to generate more sales from those that are actively interested while preserving the goodwill with the rest of your subscriber base that for now are just not interested in what you've got to offer, right? So that's strategy number one, segment your audience. Strategy number two, nurture your audience. On the teleseminar itself, you just can't go on and on about how great your product is and, and why they should buy it and how it's so amazing. I'm sure it is, but you just can't have it all be about you. You must give them some valuable content to have them see 
the value in what you offer and to warm up your listeners about the topic you're sharing with them and ultimately about your offering, right? About your product. Just as you wouldn't typically ask someone to marry you on the first date, the same happens in a teleseminar that will eventually have you offer a product or program at the end. There is a, a, a wooing process uh, that needs to occur, right? So you have to focus on delivering the high content and high value information to your listeners and, and ensure that they'll be more receptive to your sales offer when it comes time to that, right? So that's strategy number two, nurture your audience. And lastly, strategy number three, provide a compelling call to action. Not just any old call to action, a compelling call to action. On the teleseminar, you just can't end with, so go buy it, there you go. The question you should be answering is why should they buy now? If there's not a strong reason to buy now, a majority of people won't. And if they'll leave it to chance to remember to buy later, most don't, right? If you're anything like me. But if you provide a bonus or another time sensitive reason, um, that will motivate themselves to invest in your product now rather than thinking about it later. This means you'll generate more sales. And let me just throw a caveat here and a, an important side note. This is where you want to be truly authentic and compelling in your marketing. You can't create a compelling call to action with a great bonus to include. You got to do it in integrity where the bonus is something that will actually help them and add to the value of the purchase, not just a, a hook or some you know catch to get them to buy. That's not very client attractive. That's not very authentic, right? So that's strategy number three, a compelling call to action. Now, here is your client attraction assignment for the week. Ask yourself this question, how can I use a teleseminar product launch for selling more products, programs, or signing up more clients? Then following the, the three steps that I've shared with you, map it out, pick a date, and start promoting it. It's all about taking action and doing it today. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video strategy about using a teleseminar to launch your product. Uh, tell me what you think, post a comment below, and until next time, happy client attraction, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.